Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another Screencasts Online weekly tip video. Now, one of the big features of the Apple Watch is the ability to track movement, exercise and standing as part of your activity. Apple introduced the concept of the activity rings on the very first Apple Watch and they've proved to be a great motivator for people wanting to boost their fitness and well-being. Especially if you work at a desk all day or you just don't exercise very much. So here are some tips to get the most out of the Activity app. Now the first tip is to set up your watch properly and by that I mean adding the right complications in to sort of keep me motivated to use the workout app. Now if I have a look at my, uh, this is my personal watch configuration, I have two watch faces that I use all the time. The first is modular and as you can see with the modular face I have uh, two uh, complication set up here. In the bottom left hand corner I have the standard activity complication and that allows me to get to my uh, activity data and in the bottom right I have the workout complication. We'll have a look at the workout app in a second. If I go back to my watch I also have this option here as well. When I really want to focus on how I'm doing with my activity I have the activity rings as a watch face. But more often than not I have it on the modular watch face. So let's take a look at how you can easily start a quick workout. Take a look at the watch. Now we can go straight into a workout by tapping on the complication and then if I want to select a particular type of activity I can just scroll up and scroll down. And then if I select one just by tapping we get the countdown. I can bypass the countdown just by tapping on the screen and we're straight into it. Which is fine. Um, let me just pause that one or other. We'll end that particular workout. Uh, a quick way to do it is to actually use Siri. So I can start an indoor walk very very quickly just by saying Hey Siri, start an indoor walk. And that starts the walk for me. And again, I'll just tap the screen to get rid of the countdown. Now one of the most difficult goals for me to achieve each day is the stand goal. And not so much because it's difficult to achieve, but more often than not it's inconvenient um, when you get the reminder. And you normally get a reminder if you haven't stood within the first 50 minutes of an hour and they're configured within the watch application. If you go down to the activity uh, application, you'll see here, here we go, stand reminders, currently switched on. Um, but, you know, they can actually remind you at inconvenient times when you can't actually take the time to go ahead and stand and have a walk about. So what I've discovered is a quick little tip to make sure that you get your stand goal every hour. So it's 12 minutes past three. Um, I've been doing very well, actually, if I actually have a look at my activity rings. I'll see that I'm doing pretty well. I've um, been doing some gardening today so my activity and my exercise is well up. Um, my stand goal is not too bad but I want to make sure that I hit my stand goals for today. If I actually scroll down you'll actually see that if I keep going down so there's my stand goal, there's the chart. You'll see here we have this pulsating blue bar at the end of my stand goal and that just indicates that um, I haven't met my goal for this hour but what I've discovered that if you actually at this point with the uh, glowing bar pulsating if you get up and stand about, um, just move around for a minute or two and uh, swing your arms as well, if you don't mind looking a bit silly, but swing your arms vigorously. Just walk around for um, half a minute, 45 seconds. You'll find that that blue bar will actually turn solid. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, try that. So I've had my quick walk around. I just walked into the kitchen, walked back again. Um, it's been about two minutes. So if I come back and have a look at my watch, you'll see that that pulsating blue bar has now gone solid and that's my move goal achieved for this particular hour and I don't have to worry about reminders. Another little tip for you, uh, I did mention before that I was gardening. Uh, there is no activity for gardening but you know it's uh, activity, you should really record your activity. So when I did my gardening I actually uh, switched on an indoor or rather an outdoor walk and captured that activity. Now if you forget to switch on your workout and you've done some exercise and you want to log it manually, you can do that. There's no point in wasting that effort. And to do that, all you need to do is to go into the health application. So if I just go into health and if we go to activity, and uh, these are all my current activities down here, we have workouts. So go into workouts and if you hit the plus in the top right hand corner, you can now specify the type of activity that you did. So you can select out of all these different types of activities. I don't think there's a gardening actually. Let me just double check. No, perhaps there should be. But uh, if you just want to select one of these, let's say I did a quick cycle. So cycling, uh, you can put in the calories manually if you want. And you can also put your distance in as well when you started, when you're finished. And then when you've completed that, just say add. And that will actually add the workout 
into the health application. But I'm just going to say cancel to that. I actually didn't do any additional workouts. Everything's been captured by my Apple Watch. If you want to learn more about using your Apple devices, there are over 700 full video tutorials available to Screencast Online members, covering all aspects of the Mac, iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, and even the Apple TV. Now, all full members receive a new Apple related video tutorial each and every week, as well as a free subscription to the Screencast Online monthly magazine packed with videos and articles on getting the most out of your Apple devices. Now, you can get your free 14 day trial membership over at screencastsonline.com or check out some of the free content over on the SEO Showcase app on the iPad, iPhone, and Apple TV. That's it for this week. I'll be back next week with another tip, so I'll speak to you then.